Hi, um, welcome to In Your Element TV and today I am here to talk about conscious numbers and how you can connect conscious numbers and into this time because today it's full moon in Aquarius and we also have the Lion's Gate which is still open until tomorrow plus the Sun is in Leo. How can you combine all this together and with conscious numbers 5, 6 and 7 you can actually set up a plan and a very easy and grace plan where you can um, plant your seeds, create abundance, bring in, harvest these energies that are coming in in fast and furious and then we are also um, seeing that you know you can bear the fruits because as you can see I'm here in the fig tree and there's a little the, as you can see a little fig here so it's all getting ready you know to grow and ripe uh, so that's what you can do so bring in the energies and take advantage of this with conscious number five six and seven and let me tell you all about it now the question is how can you in these times uh, make the world a better place make your life a better place um, bring in unity and bring in the sense of um, uh, satisfaction and happiness and joy you know in, in, in a world that you know it's currently uh, uh, very challenging and things are changing very very quickly but uh, the full moon today is in Aquarius and Aquarius is the sign of change Aquarius as an individual is very uh, rebellious so it provokes change it doesn't want to be like anybody else he wants to uh, walk in a you know the bit uh, of its own drum uh, but also it's a very collective uh, energy because Aquarius is a very collective uh, sun sign and it's very humanitarian so it provokes changes in society it's the sort of people that provoke changes in personal life but to provoke changes in society because they want to change so here we go in this changing world uh, we are in the era of Aquarius so and the reason being is how are you going to change the world what is your contribution well in this season of the lion's gate lion's gate is uh it happens every year uh and uh also it it's an opportunity to bring abundance it's an opportunity to harvest the energy of the grand central sun and uh to bring it into your life uh, and to raise your energies and your frequency so we can actually go out there and vibrate higher so we can actually um help people uh to 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 to, to get better in your world so how can this help you in your daily life facing your challenges well with conscious number five I would suggest that you go out there and you write five things five goals that you want to achieve let's say by the end of summer and create some for yourself some for your family but remember also do something for the collective because we are all part of one and uh, this can help you then to create structure by using number six which is the frequency of structure and also the power that comes from love which is all about the Leo because the Sun is in Leo Leo is all about love Leo is a bit dramatic Leo can be a bit egotistical it can be you know a bit self-centered but it's also a about love. Leo has the energy of drama but in the energy of love, the energy of doing things for others as well. So use this energy to create uh, with number six uh, which is the power that comes from love and it also gives you the power to uh, put in place a plan and to also create structures so you can move into number seven where you can harmonize uh, and you can bring balance into your life and the life of others so things can actually not be so chaotic. So in the moment of change when you have moon in Aquarius but you have the sun in Leo and you have the lion's gate open where there's a lot of energy from the central sun being poured in so your body can go a little bit woo you know and you can be feeling a bit um, off-centered it's time to actually reach inside find that number seven in the in the middle of yourself in the center of your belly imagine that number seven bringing harmony bringing balance and where you have a Leo and an, a Leo Sun and an Aquarius moon where you know it's all about others it's all about the self but it's also about others collectively and humanly so basically when you are centered yourself as an individual and that's how you can change your life it's how you can change others lives it's like you can change in the collective so it's it's very important that you take time to reflect this time and remember that also this is time for forgiveness this is time to reflect on your life to reflect on what has gone right what has gone wrong what what is what is not serving anymore what new things do you want use these energies to create a brand new life and to plan in the next month for uh, autumn 
and for uh, winter. So um, if you have any suggestions or any ideas or you want to discuss anything with us, please leave us a comment in the comments box. Otherwise, check us out on our social media platforms, but uh, also subscribe if you want to know more of what we're doing here. And like I said, my name is Liliana and I'm your Conscious Numbers facilitator here. So here today, uh, releasing number five, six and seven to create a better future for yourself and for others. And I say goodbye for now. Bye.